What's up, Patreon family? It's me, your girl, Megan. Welcome back. Today, I am going to be doing a celebrity transit reading this time on Miss Denny Lay. I did a natal chart reading for her a while back, okay? But after the most recent developments, I thought it was fitting to do a, a transit reading just to put these set of events into more of an astrological context per usual right you know how we get down over here so if you haven't heard danny lay aka the baby's like what third baby mama yellow bone was arrested yesterday or maybe the night before that as i'm recording this video on a dui and this was a pretty serious situation because according to reports she was in Miami. She actually hit a guy on a scooter and really fucked him up bad, okay? He didn't die, but I think he has, like, a lacerated kidney. She ended up dragging him and literally drove off. So, it was like a DUI hit and run, I think she was charged with. Don't quote me. And, of course, everybody is talking about the long-ranging ramifications and consequences to the situation you know some people are speculating that she's going to be getting jail time others you know other people have their other opinions feel free to drop down in the comment section below with your own opinion but once again today i want to speak to the transits that um activated this situation for her okay so this incident occurred on Tuesday morning, it was uh, May 30th, Tuesday morning in Miami, Florida. Now, Danny Lay was born on December 20th, 1994. She was born in Miami, okay? And there are quite a few things, a couple of things that stood out to me. One of the biggest observations um, to make here is that Danny Lay is in the midst of Okay, knee deep, pussy deep in her Saturn return. And she is, yes, of the Saturn and Pisces demographic themes associated with Saturn and Pisces. And this could be those who are experiencing the transit if it's, you know, hitting your chart the right way or if you are someone with this placement natally would be. Um, highly karmically induced challenges regarding drugs, alcohol, but also even legal issues, more specifically legal issues that could result in imprisonment. So when Saturn is in Pisces, niggas is going to jail. Now, people go to jail regardless, obviously, but Saturn does deal with punishment. It deals with even the punitive justice system when Saturn is in Pisces there could be a lot of um, you know institutionalization going on and so from a natal perspective you will have a lot of people who are experiencing this Saturn return in Pisces not everyone is going to affect everybody differently right but this is a plausible outcome so this is a serious set of consequences that are stemming directly from um, Danny Lee's Saturn return. Moreover, the transit that actually activated this uh, Saturn return, or at least the physical manifestation of this facet of her Saturn return, would be transiting sun, which is in Gemini, by the way, squaring her natal Saturn. Now, to be precise, uh, this is a transit that actually went exact on uh, the 28th. So technically, it, you know, it happened like a few days prior to this incident. But there could still be some lingering residual energy, which could absolutely manifest in um, a hit and run situation, right? With transit and sun in Gemini, Gemini directly rules vehicles, right? And I meant to mention another major theme associated with Saturn in Pisces is going to be discernment, meaning those who are experiencing their Saturn return, right, are going to be encountering a lot of karmically induced obstacles surrounding their 
discernment, whether or not you're able to tap into that. Those who, you know, encounter a lot of misjudgments or who don't do their due diligence when it comes to discernment, who don't pay attention to their level of discernment, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. And the karmic turnaround time when Saturn is in Pisces is extremely fast, meaning a lot of things can materialize. The ramifications of our decisions and such can materialize very, very quickly. And once again, this could be applied on a collective level, but especially, especially for those of you all who are going through this Saturn return in Pisces. So you just got to be very mindful of your decision-making skills, um, how you treat others. And moreover, when Saturn is in Pisces, you can more or less say that there's going to be a battle between the spiritual and physical realm. So a lot of times people who are too caught up in the physical too caught up in um, worldly activity, could encounter almost, I would say, a life-changing situation that kind of forces them to double down on their spirituality. Or for those of you who may not be spiritual, maybe they, you know, turn to God or um, have this kind of tendency to to lean into like their, their faith and spiritual practice and understanding to help get them through like a really, really hard time. So once again, all of the above would definitely be applicable to Miss Danny Lay. I think this is, cause this is not no little situation. This ain't no traffic stop violation, no minor kind of incident. This is a big ass deal. People do football digit numbers in jail for shit like this. And she's just lucky that this man didn't die because had he died, like it's, it's gonna, it, w- it would be given, you know, or just the new black, like, you know, so there's that side note. I've been noticing an uptick in a lot of car accidents ever since transit and sun entered Gemini you know, my stepfather, who is a Gemini North node, recently got into a really bad wreck as well. So, you know, y'all be careful out there because it is definitely in the air. And with this transit of sun squaring Saturn as it pertains to Danny Lay, this could absolutely be a auto accident that could lead to things like hospitalization or in her case, even jail time. And I guess you could say hospitalization for the victim who was actually struck. Also, with transit of Mercury and Taurus opposing Danny Lay's natal Venus and Scorpio, I have a strong suspicion that she may have blacked out. Meaning, like, if you were to ask her to recount the exact moments leading up to the accident, she probably wouldn't even be able to tell you. And... Even after revisiting her natal chart, this really made me like reevaluate some things in regards to like my original assessment on Danny Lay because she does strike me as someone just from a sheer astrological standpoint who has very deeply rooted issues with substances and whether those substances be alcohol, it could be alcohol, it could be whatever. So, you know, fill in the blank, how you want to fill it in. We're going to say alcohol just for the sake of this video. But for example, I mean, she has major, you know, um, telltale aspects that could be indicative of a person with substance abuse problems or even alcoholism. One of those being her um, moon, Neptune opposition. Um, And a lot of times with this moon Neptune opposition, these are people who could, um, you know, they're, they're always struggling with this addiction, if you will, or they could be very sensitive to um, this addiction or, or when it comes to leaning on other things. And a lot of times these addictions or whatever the case may be can play out. The effects that they have in their lives can play out in a very drastic way. Uh, She also has her moon in opposition to Uranus too. So moon opposing Uranus and Neptune. That could even be a person who acts kind of crazy and erratic, especially when they are under the influence. 
She has her Neptune forming a semi-square to her Saturn. So that could even deal with where she may not learn her lesson. Like she could be someone who, you know, whether it be like alcohol or whatever the situation is, she'll find herself in situations and it'll be hard for her to fully like learn her lesson. It'll give me, it gives me like maybe woe is me vibes, but somebody who has a difficult time taking accountability, it doesn't help that she's a Sagittarius. The darker manifestation of Sagittarius could definitely be um, having an excuse Right. Another dark sided Sagittarius manifestation could be wild and reckless wildness, recklessness and just a disregard for, you know, like life and in in, <laughs> in common sense, to be quite frank. And then her son is conjoined to Mercury, which could also be very indicative of a person who to be kind of, um, you could even say like a speed demon. Sagittarians can drive really crazy in general. That's another, you know, dark side of Sagittarius trait alongside Gemini can drive really, really crazy. But with her son conjoined to her uh, Mercury at that second degree of Capricorn, they could kind of heighten it. So, you know, it can produce a person who could just be very reckless, you know, or just I even get the sense of just like being impatient. So even outside of being under the influence or whatever the case may be, she naturally in life may be a person who just is a very like um, erratic driver or like even could have road rage or something like that. She has her Saturn in Pisces squaring her Jupiter in Sagittarius, which is another telltale sign of, um, you know, whether it be like addiction problems, but also legal problems, serious, serious legal problems. So yeah, it's kind of all over the place. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the video right here. Y'all drop down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this whole situation. And um, yeah, I don't really see it for her, but I would never wish nothing like this on nobody. This is crazy. So yeah, let me know what y'all think and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.